Mike Napoleon here with Super Speed Golf. I want to talk about the protocol that we've built to help you increase your grip strength with the Super Speed Squeeze. First of all, the squeeze easily installs on any of your own golf clubs. We recommend a mid iron, probably a seven iron, as a very optimal club for you to do this training. If you have our Super Speed Golf training system, it also works really well on our red Super Speed Club. We like that because we want a little bit more weight involved in working with this training. So I'm going to put the squeeze on our Super Speed Red Club. So this is how we would start. It just fits over the grip just like that. This is our first drill in the Super Speed Squeeze protocol. Single hand holds. Now I've got the Super Speed Squeeze installed on my 7 iron. I'm going to hold the club about 6 to 8 inches off the ground. I'm going to grip the club aggressively right in the center and I'm going to hold for five seconds with my lead hand then I'm going to switch and do five seconds with my trail hand. Now I'm going to do five reps on each hand throughout this protocol. Here we go. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to switch to my trail hand. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go back to my lead hand. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go back to the trail hand. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the lead hand. Now I'm squeezing as aggressively as I possibly can for that duration of that five seconds. Now back to the trail hand. Squeeze aggressively. All of my fingers are pushing on the squeeze the entire time. Back to the lead hand. One, two, three, four, five, trail hand, one, two, three, four, five, and now back to the lead hand for one more, squeeze really aggressively through that last five seconds on the lead hand, all right, now I'm going to go to the trail hand, squeeze as hard as I can, two, three, four, five, okay, now we're going to take a rest, that is single hand holds. This is the second drill in our Super Speed Squeeze protocol. This is going to be golf posture two hand holds. So for this drill, I'm going to get into my normal golf posture, put both hands around the Super Speed Squeeze. Now you can use your normal golf grip, whether you interlock or overlap. You can also just use a 10 finger grip and wrap your thumbs around the side. Whatever you feel is more comfortable is fine for this drill. I'm going to go ahead and wrap my thumbs around the side so I get a, a good 10 finger grip on each side of the squeeze for this drill. I'm going to do 5 seconds of a squeeze and then I'm going to do 5 seconds for rest. Here we go. Alright, squeeze aggressively. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Rest for 5 seconds. During that rest time I'm just going to get ready. Maybe this time I'm going to do my normal golf grip. Squeeze, 2, 3, four, five. Okay, release and rest for a few seconds. I'm going to go back to 10 finger for this one. Squeeze, two, three, four, five. Rest. All right, get back into golf posture, club on the ground. I'm going to squeeze again. Squeeze, two, three, four, five. I'm going to rest for this five last seconds, and then I'm going to do one more five second hold. All right, normal golf grip for this one. Squeeze, two, three, four, five, and release. That's our second drill. This is our third drill in the Super Speed Squeeze protocol. This is called Quick Bursts. We're gonna do five sets of five reps in this drill, and what we're going to do is in our normal golf posture, with either our normal golf grip or a 10 finger grip, we're gonna do five quick maximum bursts and get as much pressure on the grip as we can and then immediately release it. We're going to do five of those and then rest for five seconds. Here we go. I'm going to start with the 10 finger grip. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now I'm going to rest for five seconds. Just let everything relax for a second. This I'll show you with a normal golf grip. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to rest for another five seconds. Notice if your fingers come off the grip slightly, that's fine. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five. 
Also notice that you can see my entire arms and forearms working. It's not just the hands. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Last five second break here. Let's really push through these last five reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the third drill in our super speed squeeze protocol, quick bursts. Now we're gonna do some non-dominant swings with the super speed squeeze installed on a seven iron. For this, I want you to actually put your hands in the orientation of a non-dominant grip. For me, that's left-handed. If you wanna use an actual left-handed grip, that's fine. Um, if you wanna use 10 fingers, that's also fine. I'm gonna use a 10 finger grip because I feel like that's a little more comfortable for this position for the non-dominant swings. For the first five of these swings, I want you to focus on creating as much grip pressure as you can and swinging about 50% of your max. You're gonna gradually get a little faster over those first five. And then for the last five swings, I want you to not worry about the grip pressure, but I want you to try to make the club move as fast as possible. Okay, here we go. I'm really focusing on grip pressure for these first five. Here we are. There's one, two, three, getting a little faster, four, five. Now I'm gonna make five swings as fast as I can, not worrying about the grip pressure. There's one, two, three, four, five. There we go. There's non-dominant swings with the super speed squeeze. Now we're gonna make full golf swings with the squeeze on our golf club. We're gonna make 10 swings. For the first five, I would like you to focus on creating as much grip pressure as you can, swinging about 50% of your max and gradually getting a little faster. For the last five swings, don't worry as much about how you're gripping the club as far as grip pressure. Just make the club move as fast as you possibly can. Here we go. All right, first five, I'm creating a lot of grip pressure and be about 50% of my max. There's one, two, I'm getting a little faster, three, four, here's five. Okay, now I'm pretty much at my maximum speed. I'm now not going to worry about gripping the club more aggressively. I'm just gonna make the club move as fast as I can. Here we go. You'll notice that on those really fast swings at the end, I switched from my normal golf grip to a 10 finger grip. That's perfectly fine. Your normal golf grip is fine if it's comfortable. If you'd rather you feel more controlled with a 10 finger grip, go ahead and do that.